Longtime viewers know that I used to talk about net neutrality on this channel all the time, especially in 2017, but also 2018 as well. And even if you've only seen a couple of those videos, I think it was abundantly clear about the point that I was trying to drive home that Ajit Pai, this individual, not only is he a terrible human being, but he is one of the most shameless industry shills we've ever seen, perhaps, in American government. And I get that the bar is very high to pass, right? Because there's a lot of really corrupt, sold-out people in D.C. But this individual, he was former legal counsel to Verizon, and when he was elevated from FCC commissioner to FCC chair, he made it very clear he had one mission and one mission only – repeal net neutrality, and ruin the internet so that way my uh, my industry, my people, they actually can make a lot more profit off of people. Now, thankfully, um, his agenda largely didn't go anywhere because he repealed net neutrality, got a little bit too greedy because he tried to preempt states from creating their own net neutrality laws, and the court said you can't do that. So now most people live in states where net neutrality is protected. So, you know, he, he failed there with that mission. And, you know, he, he did a lot more than that. I think just saying that he was there to repeal net neutrality was a bit of an oversimplification, if I can reflect on the last two minutes. He also tried to undo any of the progress that was made throughout the Obama era with Tom Wheeler as the chair of the FCC, even moving towards trying to get rid of zero rating, which is, you know, these uh, regulations on your data and throttling you when you go over. Uh, but having said that, he, he tried to pretend as if he wasn't this big shill for the industry and make it seem as if he actually had another goal there as FCC chair, not just totally operate at the behest of the industry, Comcast, Verizon, AT&T, but he also really wanted to make sure that Americans have access to the internet, even in rural areas. He wanted to bridge the digital divide, as he called it. So he launched this initiative to create the infrastructure needed to bridge the digital divide, right? He wanted to make sure that people in rural areas had access to quality, high-speed internet. Except not only is he corrupt, he's also an idiot. And we're learning now, based on an analysis by a watchdog of the FCC in the industry, that he was horrible at the one goal that he claimed to be so passionate about. And honestly, this is so embarrassing, and this individual should never be able to get a job anywhere like near internet or broadband ever again even if he is the shill that he was because the things that he did in an effort to bridge the so-called digital divide laughable so for more on this we go to andrea germanos of common dreams who explains under the leadership of pi who was appointed by former president donald trump the fcc awarded 180 bidders contracts to expand broadband to underserved areas pi in a december statement touted the auction as an incredible success and declared the program the single largest step ever taken to bridge the digital divide digital rights advocacy group free press dug into those claims and the bids outlined by companies to help reportedly unconnected areas the group group found Pi's program was on track to be one of the most wasteful projects in FCC history in light of bids to cover empty parking lots and urban areas already well connected. Wow. The FCC's Monday statement appears to reference those findings and directs those who won grants to withdraw their requests if they don't meet the program's mandate. Quote, in light of complaints that the program was poised to fund broadband to parking lots and well-served urban areas, the FCC sent letters to 197 winning bidders. The letters offer providers an opportunity to withdraw their funding requests from those places already with service or where significant questions of waste have been raised. Next, the FCC made clear that it will not tolerate any provider participating in the program that is not serious about providing broadband service or has not made appropriate efforts to secure state approvals. To this end, the FCC rejected requests from AB Indiana in Florida and LTD Broadband in California, Oklahoma, and Kansas to waive program deadlines in light of their failure to act in a timely way to seek state certification. Free Press noted Monday that Starlink, Elon Musk's satellite internet company, was among those receiving the new FCC letters. Now, before we discuss this, in regards to that last uh, sentence there, Ajit Pai awarded Elon Musk's company Starlink close to $1 billion. $1 billion. So I just want to reiterate how big of a disaster this was. The analysis that was conducted is saying that what he called an incredible success might be one of the most wasteful projects in the history of the FCC. 
I mean, how embarrassed he should feel right now. But he doesn't care because he didn't actually ever care about this. This was just kind of like a red herring to distract us from the fact that all he cared about was ruining the internet at the behest of his former employer and probably future employer. I'm sure that he has a cushy job lined up for him at Verizon or AT&T after doing exactly what they sent him there to do or pushed for him to get there to do. Um, but he literally had contracts awarded to people who already had broadband in those areas who were going to serve areas that were already covered. And on top of that, covering empty parking lots. I just, wow. I just, I don't know what to say. This is why you shouldn't let um, unserious people who are just shills for the industry in positions of government, in powerful positions like this, because they end up doing something like this that he very clearly didn't care about at all. Now, even if you don't care about something like this, he has a lot of people around him that can actually competently um, oversee this program, but he, he literally couldn't care less. He didn't care at all. Hence why, you know, areas that were already covered were getting covered. He just, he, he couldn't be bothered. Wow. So it's not like this is shocking at all because, you know, part of my coverage about Ajit Pai, it doesn't just emphasize how corrupt he is and how many conflicts of interest there are, but it also talks about how idiotic and narcissistic he is. Like the level of self-awareness that he lacks is so embarrassing. Wow. I mean, he, you had one job. You had one thing that you said you cared about, and this is what you do? Give empty parking lots broadband Ajit Pai? This is your crowning achievement during your tenure as uh, FCC chair? Wow. I, again, it's like I don't want to pretend as if I'm surprised here because this is exactly what I expected to find once independent audits were conducted uh, or analyses were conducted over like this entire program. But it's just it's incredibly embarrassing. And the fact that the FCC now with competent people in power, Jessica Rosenworcel, who's the acting FCC chair, is incredibly brilliant. Um but now she's having to go through and like clean up the mess that you made and undo all of the damage that you caused. And you should be embarrassed. Like you should never be able to get a job in government or even in the private sector again, especially as it relates to this. Because wow, what what an idiot Ajit Pai is.